Today's subject is uh, this orange tree, section of an orange tree. And we're working very roughly from scribbling. And so I'm going to start with where we are on this tree with these oranges. There's one, two, three, four, five. The first two I see seem to be running across in this direction. Then there's two more underneath down here. You see we're starting off very roughly. I'm using my number 4B pencil, artist pencil, that I get at Michael's Arts and Crafts. It works lighter and darker depending on the amount of pressure that you uh, put down. But can end up with a nice rough piece, which is what we're doing. Alright, so one and two orange here. I'm just spitballing here. I'm going to try to figure out where they are and lay them down. Very roughly. Just a rough circle. Orange number one. Not even looking for an outline yet. Just pretty much basically working out from the inside out, which is what drawing from scribbled shapes is. This is my mantra. I draw form from inside out, no matter what form it is. The next orange I see is not very far away. And in the same line, so like I said before, I'm just spitballing. Trying to lay this composition out. Okay, two oranges. All right, the third orange I'm seeing somewhere down here. Very roughly using my whole arm, wrist and hand. Then I see one down here, just about on an angle from this one here, like this, and about so high. Still working with an oval shape. As you see, we're building this up slowly. Uh, we're not stressing out. We're just uh, playing around with form and doodling. This is all we're doing is doodling. And little by little, you can try to work in more of an outline and get to where you want to be. Now this can be a style in itself, in and of itself, or this can be a step to a more finished uh, work. That's up to you. If you want to learn how to get into more uh, finished, more uh, realistic drawings, just thumb around uh, YouTube and as you can find a lot of very fine instruction from master artists on how to draw and paint very realistically. Today I'm working with a pretty much doodle rough image which can be considered a style in and of itself and something interesting enough that's worthy of framing, matting and hanging because it's interesting. And like I've said before, I consider interesting, you know, just as important as realistic. Okay, so between these two oranges up here, I see some leaves, which I uh, find an elongated oval, you know. So we're just roughing in these items now. And then between these two oranges, I see another big leaf. Now we're just roughing in as an oval now, just trying to figure out volume at first. 
Then we can get into a little bit more detail as we go along, but we're not getting into a lot of detail. Okay, now in that leaf I see a crease. And we could uh, rough in a fold, fold the part of the leaf, and we can rough in some leaf uh, veins. Very roughly, this is just an indication, okay, of something interesting. Okay, the bottom right orange has a leaf coming off of it also. which will start as an oval and then bring down into a point. Okay, point on the right end. And I see some, I see a, a little bit of a leaf vein. To bring that leaf to life. So that was an oval. That turned into sort of an arrowhead. And up here we have a leaf also. That started as an oval and ended up into an arrowhead. Notice the roughness is remaining. And I'm just playing around, fooling around, doodling and having fun. Just an exercise in searching out shapes and finding form. Basically it's what this is. And then sooner or later we could work in some of our docks. I see uh, another uh, leaf coming out from underneath this orange up here on the top right which seems to have a branch working off of it and also some shadow so just throw in a quick shadow quick shadow underneath the orange too and we'll indicate outline by uh, hardening up a little bit by applying pressure I see the I see two leaves. Okay, coming to points. Again, we can indicate them as leaves by throwing in spine and uh, leaf marks. Very roughly. Don't worry about how rough this is. You're just playing. You just doodling. You can darken up the outlines when you start to feel it. Okay, down here I see another leaf jutting out. With leaf veins indicated quickly and the heavier outline you see as I go along I try to discover outlines just to try to make some sense of what we got here you could say it's starting up here with shadows underneath and darkened outlines and darken the leaf veins. Just to bring some uh, concept to the composition to see what it is. That's why I stand back and I look at it every now and then just to see what, we're, what I've got going on. It's just scribble doodling. But it's interesting scribble doodling. And then let me run off and get my eraser.
Now what I've got is a, a kneaded eraser that I bought from uh, Michael's Arts and Crafts also. Michael's Arts and Crafts, I highly recommend. It's a wonderful place to shop for your uh, arts and craft supplies. So I just take off what I don't want at this point. The setup lines, the snap lines I don't, I don't need anymore so I'm just taking them off. And uh, this is all uh, that drawing is, is addition and subtraction until you find out what you're, uh, what you're getting at. Come back here and try to uh, heavy up what I think is my outline. Wipe off my eraser crumbs. Now if you get a, a kneaded eraser at Michael's, they don't leave the eraser crumbs. That's why I suggest you go to Michael's and get a kneaded eraser. They're soft and pliable and don't leave crumbs. It's a nice uh, eraser to have. Along with a set of Artist B pencils, which run soft and dark, which I think I've explained before. All right, so I think we're finding a, a feel for this orange here. Uh, even a little bit of shadow up on top, up next to uh, the leaves. And I can uh, smear in some of that shadow with my finger. Can run some shadow with the side of your pencil across the bottom and smear them in using your finger to just get a softness. And this is what you would do going into a uh, more of a realistic uh, drawing. You do a lot more blending than what we're doing today, which is basically shape searching and scribble doodling, but which I also think is interesting artwork. Okay, I think these uh, leaves I consider to be darker than the oranges. So I'm going to give them a little bit of uh, mid-tone shading. Very quickly like that. Maybe indicate more of an outline, darkening up my uh, outline, rough as it is. Just by applying more pressure. Bringing out the interesting items that I see like the leaf veins and the outline of the orange. As and when I see them. You know sometimes I don't see these things till later on. I see uh, another uh, leaf up here. I see another orange up here, actually. Uh, so I'm going to indicate part of an orange up top. Making the composition a little bit more interesting. Actually running up off the top of the page. And when this is all matted and framed, it will pop. Especially if you get some darks in here like uh, where this leaf meets up to the orange. If you get your darks and lights in there on the heavier side, you'll show contrast and the drawing will pop more than uh, if it's just low light. So here I go with this orange darkening up underneath and on the side just Blending in a little with my finger, here and there. And this is just basic shape. Ovals. Uh, almond shapes. Pointed shapes. And scribble them. Just scribble doodle wherever and whenever you can. And where it works out and how it works out is totally up to you. Like I say, if you think you get to a point where you could advance further, 
just search around YouTube and try to find some instruction by master artists that can bring you to a point of realism. I use them myself. All right, so here we are. And what I'm going to do standing is a little bit more advanced. You know, you could do this sitting at a table. But if you do, I just uh, suggest that you, every now and then you stand up and walk away and take a look at it. See what you're doing. And if there are any corrections to be made, you want to find out at this point in your rendering while you're just scribbling. You don't want to find out when you're putting the finishing touches on that the thing is uh, crooked. You want to find out now while you're just uh, laying it out as a scribbled shape. But I think I'm going to leave this finished piece as is, just a, a scribble doodle and a mat and frame it and hang it as is. I'm going to throw in another leaf down here that I see with some leaf marks. I see a few stems popping out. And uh, here and there. Just keep going, you know, you never know when you get finished with these things. You just keep playing with them until you're finally tired of working on it anymore. Uh, most artists worth their salt really never know when their piece is finished and they usually overwork but that's alright this is just uh, art expression and whatever you put down on the pad is part of you and that's your soul so whatever you end up with it's yours Okay, I'm going to see some more leaves dropping in and around. And more shadows. And a stem. Talking these things to make them stand out. And as crude as this is, that's okay. Because it's self-expression. And all expression is important. Bring in some more leaves and see if any off the right side of the sheet. And maybe some twigs. Uh, twigs are interesting in a tree, I'd say. another leaf out here to the right just an arrowhead shape going into uh, 
a twig that runs off, another twig that runs down and over, and then a bundle of uh, leaves that I think I see. There you go, a little bundle of leaves. So I love the quickness and the roughness and just the free flow of this style. Okay, this bundle of leaves runs all the way off of this bottom left orange. And we can darken it up to give it some life. And as it comes into the center, we can darken everything up, make our center dark. To hold a cure, uh, to, to hold a core. Throw in a stem and this middle apple. Oh, orange, I'm sorry, I said apple. And this is introduction drawing. Just shape search and throw down what you can as roughly as you want. And don't beat yourself up if it's not realistic. We're looking for we're looking for emotion, not realism. Now we could tie the whole composition together by darkening up the outline and giving it some unity and interest. And I'm seeing some activity off to the right or right off the side of the sheet. Leaves. Just doodled scribble. Just something for the eye to see. And uh, I'm seeing some uh, pieces of orange behind it in the background. How we get the bow in? And once again, not knowing when to finish, I keep working on it and beating it up. More uh, leaf veins, more shape, more outline, continuity. And this is early introduction drawing. You start like this, and who knows where you end up. But this is another one of my episodes on entry drawing. You start like this, and who knows where you could end up. But this is the beginning, this is the start. Just scribble doodling. I don't care what it looks like. Just trying it is the goal. Thank you for your time.